hey guys here we are with yet another video on sams aws learning series and we are going to talk about aws cloud formation today aws documentation and other useful links they are available in the description below do check them out this will be a theory session i'm not going to do a practical session if you are looking for a practical session let me know i could uh, make a video out of it the main reason why i am not going to do a practical session is uh, cloud formation this is important if you are belonging to a development team and uh, system administration or uh, support teams on this channel i have two playlists one is focusing on uh, solution architect associate level exam preparation and then the other one is for uh, aws beginners and for that this theory session is more than enough aws cloud formation it uh, gives developers and uh, system administrators an easy way to create and manage a collection of related aws resources provisioning and updating them in an orderly and predictable fashion let me break it down for you guys in simple terms let's assume uh, you have an enterprise application uh, which is running on uh, aws resources uh, maybe you know couple of uh, ec2 instances uh, rds or uh, aws databases elb is a uh, cloud front and uh, other things so managing these infrastructure resources it's not uh, going to be so easy even with uh, aws management console these individual modules or individual resources it needs a uh, certain focus and uh, dedication keep them under control you will have to have a dedicated uh, support team and that's where cloud formation comes in handy if you are a developer or a system administrator with uh, things like json you can have a cloud formation template created which keeps your entire uh, aws infrastructure and uh, the associated uh, resources as code so aws cloud formation uh, it converts your infrastructure as code you can use aws cloud formation sample templates or create your own uh, templates to describe the aws resources and any associated dependencies or runtime parameters required to run your application so you get the point uh, don't you this will ensure that our developers are focusing on development activities system administrators they don't have to worry about uh, managing the infrastructure everything is uh, simple enough over json you can manage your uh, entire infrastructure and uh, aws cloud formation it does provide uh, cool features uh, such as uh, version control ease of operation ease of replication etc you don't need to figure out uh, the order of provisioning aws services subtleties uh, of making those uh, dependencies work cloud formation takes care of uh, everything for you after the aws resources are deployed you can modify and update them in a controlled and uh, predictable way in effect uh, applying version control to your aws infrastructure the same way you do with your software so that is the biggest advantage just like handling your application or software uh, you can um, have complete control of your uh, aws infrastructure by leveraging cloud formations capabilities infrastructure can be managed as code you can also visualize your templates as diagrams and edit them using drag and drop uh, interface with the aws cloud formation designer we have a uh, things such as a uh, third party softwares with which you can uh, design your uh, cloud formation template you can deploy and update a template and its associated collection of resources we call these a uh, collection of resources as stack we will come to that in a bit um, by using aws management console aws command line or apis so basically you can have uh, a control over your cloud formation template by either uh, uh, from aws management console which is the front end and then you can have uh, aws cli or you can uh, have complete control over uh, cloud formation by using apis and then uh, aws sdk cloud formation is available at uh, no additional charge that is the trick here you pay only for the aws resources you need to run your application creating a uh, cloud formation templates it is totally free but when you put it to use you create a, you create an instance out of your cloud formation template means uh, obviously you are launching uh, aws resources associated with that particular uh, aws cloud template cloud formation template to be precise then you will have to you know pay for that uh, resources and some of the benefits infrastructure is treated as code here uh, thus by providing a developer and then uh, sys admins complete control over your infrastructure uh, any code changes which requires after a application deployment that can be uh, 
that can be tackled easily here by using cloud formation uh, there is something called as a uh, change sets with which uh, you can uh, see the summary of the changes you are making over your infrastructure which simplifies uh, the entire uh, overhead associated with it then ease of replication um, let me tell you this example we, let's assume we have an application over your uh, aws platform and then you are coming up uh, with uh, multiple regions application remains same configurations are more or less same the entire application architecture it should be same so what you will do you will uh, create a cloud formation template out of the present application and then you will use it as the blueprint you will create a uh, new regions or provision new regions with the help of this uh, master template so ease of replication is there you don't have to associate or uh, take help from uh, multiple uh, team support teams if you are a developer or then if this admin you get you get to have a uh, complete control over your uh, json file or the template file you can easily control and track changes to your infrastructure uh, how as i was saying you have this uh, summary we call them as a uh, change sets the moment you make uh, any sort of code change associated with your uh, cloud formation template you can see the summary over there and then uh, you can see the impact and you can calculate the impact that's going to make over your application and then the hosted infrastructure which is a cool way and then it supports wide uh, range of uh, aws resources let's uh, talk about uh, some of the key concepts which involved which is involved in the cloud formation so first template an aws cloud formation template is a json or a yaml formatted text file you can save these uh, files with any extension such as uh, .json, .yaml, .template or .txt. AWS Cloud Formation uh, uses uh, these templates as blueprint for building your AWS resources. And as an example, in a template, you can describe an Amazon EC2 instance such as the instance type uh, MIID, block device mapping and uh, its Amazon EC2 key pair name. You have complete control over uh, that resource. Whenever you create a stack, you also specify a template that AWS Cloud Formation uses to create whatever you described in the template. So you might ask, what is a stack? A stack, when you use AWS Cloud Formation, you manage related resources as a single unit called a stack. So this logical grouping of uh, related resources, it is known as a stack. You can create, update, delete a collection of resources by creating, updating and uh, deleting stacks. All the resources in a stack are defined by the stack's AWS Cloud Formation template. Suppose you create a, a template that includes an auto scaling group, ELB uh, load balancer, and an Amazon RDS uh, database instance. To create uh, those resources, you can create a stack by submitting the template you have created, and uh, AWS Cloud Formation provisions all those resources which are associated with that uh, template. And again, uh, you can uh, play around uh, uh, stacks by uh, either using AWS uh, Cloud Formation Console, API, or uh, AWS CLI. And uh, we have something called as a change set. If you need to make changes to the running resources in a stack, you update the stack. Before making changes to the resource, you can generate a change set, which is basically a summary of your uh, proposed changes. Change set uh, will allow you to see how change might impact your uh, running resources especially for critical resources before implementing them which is a uh, really really an important feature if you ask me uh, this has uh, effect on all sort of uh, change implementation and the infrastructure changes or even the net network level changes you make for example if you change the name of an amazon rds uh, database instance aws cloud formation will create a new database and uh, delete the old one you will lose the data in the old database unless you have already backed it up if you generate a change set you will see that your change will cause your database to be replaced and you will be able to plan accordingly before you change or update your stack so this is how um, it works this is basically a workflow if you are planning to create a new cloud formation template or uh, using an existing template you can uh, save it locally or uh, even in s3 bucket aws cloud formation will be in action it will create the stack based on your cloud formation template all the underlying provisioning it will be handled by aws cloud formation you don't have to sit on the aws console uh, 
launching EC2 instances and then ELB is associated with that particular cloud formation template. This is the workflow which is associated with updating existing template. So you make the changes over your JSON file which is uh, your cloud formation template and then you save it uh, locally or uh, you can put them in the S3 bucket. Uh, using uh, cloud formation you will generate a change set based on your modification template and uh, input parameter values and there you get to see this uh, changes what impact it's going to make because of that change you have made on the template. View the change set which describes the action AWS cloud formation performs uh, if you execute it and then as always a cloud formation will uh, take care of the underlying provisioning. AWS cloud formation performs all the changes described in the change set. Some of the use cases I can think of is this. I've already told you about a uh, multi-region application deployment. Um, you have your uh, application and you wanted to you know launch it on a different uh, region. Same parameters, same infrastructure, same configuration. You can uh, simply you know create a template out of the existing infrastructure and then uh, use it to create another uh, stack. And uh, this stack it will be created on the new region with the help of a uh, cloud formation. Another use case I can think of is this. Uh, you have a business critical application and uh, you have multiple environments associated with that. Development for uh, developers to make the changes. UAT for uh, testing purpose done by the stakeholders. You have a production environment wherein the actual users are using this application. So what you are going to do? Maybe in order to replicate uh, a production issue, uh, developers or uh, in UAT, you have to have similar setup, which is uh, identical to that of a production instance. So what you'll do there, the simple uh, uh, answer is use cloud formation, create a template of the existing infrastructure with which your production is configured. So you will create a template out of your uh, production instance of that particular application from AWS platform. You will use the template, you will create new stacks and you will uh, put it as UAT and dev which can be accessed by your stakeholders and then the developers. If you are looking for a practical session, let me know. The main reason as I told you, I'm not going to do the practical session is this. This channel, it is focusing on our two playlists as of now. One is for uh, AWS uh, Solution Architect Associate exam preparation and the second one is for AWS beginners. But again, AWS Cloud Formation, this is an important topic if you are preparing for uh, Developer Associate exam or uh, SysOps Admin uh, Associate exam. With that, give a thumbs up to this video if you really like this effort. I do thank all your support. Thanks a lot for watching the video guys. I'll see you in the next video.